Umentri Katnat Boarding ne power u James P K Sangma ulong. Bakatnat Boarding kamla setiap ban map ia ke belait ke bedai jomu bernai yoyong hadu naitung. Wat lah kejela kalau syakta harga kelam hadu pelahap ban penjiri dah lockdown. Nak yang UMLA ke Kongres semulai ubah proses di Saukmi. Ulapu ia ke jingkeli halu ke jingkiu ke belait nado bernai yoyong hadu naitung. Ha kaba nak yang u James ulai yatho. Baga jingkiu ka bailaid ka long namar ba la khen anta lupa ha ka ju ka jingsiu ya ka ba la jupanun kam na ka banta nru banai. Namar ha ki tu ki por kam long ka babiang ban rung sya ka ying sa jong ki paid ba. Ulong ba ha ka ni ka jingtrai kam la don ru ka jingkiu jong ka bailaid. Henda ya ki ni la la pan penbait no hadin pa ki nong song shnong ki la leid pa nyekren ba ki engineer jong ka tanat. Habis bab susu yang jingkeli benar, ujian sulung, bahagian por lockdown, kipai ba kia kendo jing eh. Henry kata nak boarding, kamla bencuma abdo yang kipai light. Henry ke persang bencarap yang kipai ba, dah kapa klem dan kuna su yang kipas sius klem. Namar kadai tangka company sorkar, bar kahap bencanyat yang kikam bencero yang ketulop jongki jong tray. Habis sim bentah hagi jing eh kali benar, UMLA ke Kongres na umroy, ubah George B Lingdo sulung. Bagi pai pa naga thai nong kendong, kia kendo jing e namar ke jing pam trai kam ki meter. Henry ki siu ya ki bai lait, kren de tep bagi meter ki trai kam, pat lesi ka ni ke la penyo nong ya ka tunat boarding ban siu ya ka ram. Habu jubab na ke liang u menteri u loong, pakam sim la long kum ta, da ka ba u la kubur, ba sya ki nong kendong ki don ki meter ki pam trai kam, bat ka ni om de tang menta, Henry ka bala ja na du ka mencua. Haga bau la pentip ro pana kaliang katrat kan sabono ya ki smart meter pan nyada ya kum kini ki jing syakta ya ki ba pinon kam na kaliang wemeli ke ncp ne pa gambigre u saleng e sangma la pensngo haga dorbar bagi don pat ki ba pat yo light hendai ki bai light ki poi manla ubnai ha ka ba u la yetu ba ka don ko bai ki snong ka bedai ka badu para hapo gambir ka ba hapo hapo gambigre block Bat don ru ki senong ki bahap ha dalu blok ki bah hadu menta kim pat yo ya ke boarding henry ki yo ya ke bell light ke bala pelengo ya ke bebon u james ula pan pau ya ke jing so lingo ban yo sengo ya kum kita ke jing deko trai kam da ke ba ula kular ba un sepah toket Sir, in order to ensure monthly serving of bills to the consumers during the lockdown MEPDCL had billed the consumers on average based on 6 months consumption uh, of the last month's bill as entry into the consumer's premises has been had been restricted due to the lockdown. When it became possible to take the actual readings, it was observed that there occurred an increase in the bill of the consumers during the bill during the period as the billing period varies from 40 to 90 days. In certain cases where there is discrepancy in terms of high billing, most of the issues have been resolved on case-to-case -case basis as and when consumers have approached the concerned assistant executive engineers at the end of the lo lockdown period. Our process. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Sir, uh, I would like to express my thanks to Honorable uh, Minister that uh, he has given uh, temporary relief for other time of lockdown. But um, I would like to minister to if they can give a permanent solution, especially during lockdown. So my question is, uh, is there any proposal from the department to wave off the electricity bill during the lockdown, which I've already mentioned here from April to July, sir? Sir, I appreciate the concerns of the Honorable Member, sir, from Maulai, uh, and I can also understand, sir, that uh, during the lockdown period, all of us went through a lot of uh, difficulties, sir, and uh, a lot of um, people have been affected in terms of their livelihoods. Sir, however, sir, um, as we all know, the, the energy corporation, that is MECL, is a corporation, sir, and... Uh, there are many uh, liabilities that need to be taken care of. Uh, there are many uh, 
things like salaries which have been paid which have to be paid to the employees sir so therefore sir uh, waiving off of the electricity bills would cause a very uh, big impact on the financial health of the MECL i i'm afraid sir that may not be possible therefore sir oh, mr speaker sir <clears throat> So may I know from Honourable uh, uh, Minister in charge of power, now since uh, unlock is started, so may I know from Honourable Minister for the last uh, six months, that is from the month of uh, April, May, June, July, August, September, how much uh, revenue uh, was collected by the department? So that's a question which is... Uh I do not have the data for sir right now, so I'll require notice for that sir. So, <clears throat> so in the course of reply of the minister, he used the word I mean, liability, a liability and salary of the department in case that uh, the government the department take a, a tough uh, stand, so to say, to wave off of the electricity bill. So, may I know the, the liability of uh, the department in monthly basis? We understand that uh, according to the statement, from time to time we saw that the, that the power department, MEP, MEP, DCL, have to pay monthly so much of, uh, so much of due to various uh, companies who have uh, supply, uh, supply power to us. So, I, mean, I know from the Honorable Minister how much uh, due or liability that the department have to pay monthly to various power company who supply power in our states. <coughs> Uh, so the um, exact figures I don't have, sir, because <coughs> liabilities which are due to uh, power gen cost, sir, especially central power generating stations, sir, uh, those um, figures keep changing monthly wise, but I'll be happy to provide that information to the honorable member, sir. And uh, I would just like to, however, uh, inform the honorable member he spoke about waiver of the electricity bills, uh, that we will not uh, be able to do, sir. However, we have uh, uh, waived off the DPC, that is the delayed payment charges. So, for the period that falls under the lockdown, sir. Last question. Yes, sir. Last one. Uh, sir, I mean, I know from Honorable uh, Minister, because uh, it is a very serious matter uh, because we have for uh, 11 district uh, in our state for the information of the minister even the department as a whole knew that uh, some part of the dis of the district in the state they didn't pay electricity bill that means that uh, revenue it didn't come according to our, what it was expected so regarding with this matter i mean i know from honorable minister if he is not aware, kindly find out because we are concerned for the uh, for the revenue of uh, uh, of the department or MECL or MP at the uh, The concerns of the honourable member are noted, sir, and uh, we will look into the matter, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, it seems billing is a nightmare for each and every people, not only for the rich, even for the poor also. Now, my question is totally quite different. Now, billing for those villagers who doesn't have a meter also, who doesn't have a light also. I bought this, this question a long time back and I've been following this one. I've got few villagers in my constituency. They don't have any electricity at all. Forget about the meter. Forget about the, you know, uh, you know, uh, electricity connection or the new kind of you know way of uh, billing system they don't have the electric at all but yet they get the bill huh <laughs> <laughs> i've got few areas badupara under gambigri block two three areas near in and around and under uh, dalu block also two three areas See, they are still getting the bill in mibonpara area without electricity without any electric meter at all so it's a uh, you know unfavorably faulty and then it's a very you know like uh, it's a gruesome attack to these villages so i would like 
to you know address to the honorable minister to you sir kindly uh, kindly take this matter very seriously because it is very serious why there is no collect electricity but yet they are getting the electricity bill thank you mr speaker sir Sir, Would you kindly uh, repeat again? <laughs> no electricity bill, but still bill oh, no, is no, no. no electricity, ah. but yet they are getting the electricity bill. Okay. Honorable <laughs> Minister, please. <clears throat> yes, sir. Sir, uh, what uh, honorable member is, I think, most probably mentioning about uh, de-electrified villages, which had electricity connection at one point of time. But uh, due to some reasons, sir, uh, this may be in the past, sir. We'll have to re-examine and go into all the details, sir. But for some reason in the past, sir, their damage transformer probably was not repaired or was left unattended, sir. It's not like that. It's not de-electrified. It was not electrified at all. <laughs> no electrified at all. No, it's not about uh, transformer's damage or something like that. There is no such electrification still there. No post, no current, no wiring at all. Okay. But yet they are getting the bill. <laughs> I bought these particular questions uh, yeah. last term also, and I was I've been following this one. But yet still they are still getting the bill. Maybe you should have some patience. Uh -huh. Once it is electrified, no billing will be done. Honourable <laughs> <laughs> Minister, please. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, it's a very very interesting point that uh, honourable member has brought to the house, sir. And uh, if um, uh, this village name I have just noted down, sir, Badupara, on, on the Gambegri block. Sorry. Gambegri block and Mibon, uh, in and around Chilipara area, actually. In and around Chilipara area. Uh, I could not name, I forgot the names of the villages. Actually, two, three villages are still there on the Gambegri block. No electricity, but they are getting the bill. Sir, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I bought this one uh, last term also. I was following it up, but uh, since we were busy here and there, when I go to the village, I was so again to see that it's not yet electrified again. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Sir, we, I've taken note of this. Sir. It's a very serious matter if people who have not been given electricity connections are being built. Very serious matter, sir. And uh, I will definitely ask uh, the department to inquire into this, sir. Uh, it's like this. I bought this particular uh, in the last term or so. I asked for those officers who are involved in it because definitely unless and until some officers are involved in it, how can they get the bill? There might be some kind of, uh, you know, uh, some, uh, you know, some kind of intention or some kind of, uh, you know, uh, you know, like uh, malafide intention to get the money through irregularities maybe to some maybe it's the, some corruption is there so if minister could check in why the bill is already you know made without the electricity unless and until some officers are corrupted or maybe the contractors have taken the bill from that area maybe some you know anomaly or something has happened that's why like i want the minister to you know assure if some action can be taken against those officers who are involved in that, in, in that uh, matter. Sir, we cannot make assumptions here, sir. So, but definitely, sir, we will uh, be examining and uh, you know, investigating into this matter. Yeah. I want to assure the honorable member. And, uh, sir, if uh, this case is found to be true, sir, there may be many reasons why this is happening, sir. We really don't know. But uh, once we uh, get to the root of the matter, sir, uh, definitely, sir, we will take uh, appropriate action also if there is any kind of uh, malpractice, sir. I also have one Excuse issue, sir. <clears throat> this is pertaining to like crop village. Sir, uh, it is the uh, energy bill pertaining to these the BPL, where the consumer was the having only one connection that is one light bulb of 15 watts only. So about three months back, they came to me about 15 households. Their energy bill ranges between 3,000 to 5,000. Their energy bill is um, in a month is more than what they earn in the year. So I have written a letter to the uh, uh, MECL indicating clearly the last payment received, the energy bill bill for a particular period of time and then when we calculate it comes about 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 in some cases even 8,000 per month for a consumer with one light bulb sir. So I have written that to the board. Uh, uh, I would request the honorable 
a minister to kindly see into it. Point out it, sir. Point out. I think we'll discuss enough on this question. Uh, so maybe sir. one question, please. 